Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create bulk designs using Canva and an AI tool like ChatGPT. You can use other AI tools like Microsoft Copilot or Gemini or your preferred AI tool. So the first thing that you need to do is open your AI tool and give it a prompt. In my case I'm just going to tell it to generate 50 marketing tips. So marketing tips. Then I'm going to press enter to have the tool generate the 50 marketing tips. Now this may generate what you want based on the kind of prompt that you give it. It means you can always modify your prompt to fit your style or your niche. Once this has been done you can copy all this here. So we're going to go from the top and just copy it or optionally you can just prompt this to create a CSV file. And I always prefer to use the second option. So I can say create a CSV. CSV just means comma separated values. File from the generated tips. Then I'll press enter. Once this is done, you can go to the generated CSV file and download it. If you click it, it will be downloaded in your system. Usually where you have set your downloads to go to. So you can access that from the download icon if you're using a browser like Chrome or you can go to your system if you're using Windows and go to the downloads folder and locate your downloaded file. So if I bring that here for instance, I go to my downloads folder, I will find the CSV file as the one of the downloaded files, so 50 marketing tips. So I'm going to close that for now. Once this is done, now we are going to go to a Canva. Our tool that is going to help us create this design. Remember if you want better creation with Canva it is advisable that you subscribe to the pro um, version. Now in Canva you need to either create an account or login. If you've done that already it is simple. Go to the template and search the type of design that you want to create. In this case I want to do Facebook post. So I'll search Facebook post. Once this comes I'll be brought templates for Facebook post. So I'm going to pick this as my example. I can take this here and customize it and then edit what I do not want or what I want to add on the design. So if I wanted to add something like a logo, watermark or something, I can add it to just this one design here. So once I'm on this, I can click on that and then I can add something like a logo or text or a photo, whichever I choose to add here. So if I say I want to add an upload, let's say this was my design here. I'm going to remove the background and place it in one of the locations that I prefer. So once the background has been removed, I can resize this and put it like some here at the top. This is usually very important if you want this to be customized or personalized for your channel or your page. Once I've edited my design and I feel okay with it, I'm going to go to the app section and search for bulk create. So mine is already pinned here, but if you don't have it, you can just go to apps and then you can search bulk create and that's supposed to bring you options where you're going to choose. So in this case, if I type bulk create and press enter, I'm supposed to be brought the app here. Once you've used an app, it's usually pinned on the left hand side of this. So you can click bulk create. In this case, I'm going to click on upload data. If you check down here, you see the accepted data formats, CSV, TSV and XLX, which is usually comes from Excel. So if I click on upload data, I'm going to pick this data from that I've done here and click on open. And then I'll let that load. Once that completes loading, I, I'm going to go to my um, design here and I'm going to choose like this part here. So let me just remove this and this and have this as my center text. So I'm going to pick this here. Then I'll click connect data. Then I'll pick this here. The data, I'll pick this field that I want to connect and then I can click on continue. Once that has happened, I can now click on generate designs. Then I'll wait for the designs to be generated. Once it's generated, you'll get this pop-up. Now you can go view in folder. When you open the generated folder, it will have a bulk in it. 
so first we have the design that we had created and then we have the bulk here and you notice that it has 50 so if I open this you'll notice that all the text that we had imported in a CSV will have been mapped on this now let's go back and check through the text that we had created here the very first text here was let's go to the top for the first one the very first here is know your audience inside out if we come to this section you notice this is the first one now it is very easy to just resize this like change the font size you can have like a uniform font size like 15 for instance and let's have a bigger font size 50 if you press enter it becomes resized you can still increase the size of this now you can use this and have some form of uniformity because we already have the logo on each one of them you can edit the image but the text will be different based on the CSV file that you imported so you just do a little edit here and proceed with your posting remember this design only comes as you had done it in the design that we had chosen in this case here so whichever whichever thing you apply on this is what will appear on the bulk created so if you scroll down you notice that you have lots of this here each time you want to post you just come to your design resize the text and upload a different picture if you wish to now that's how you can create bulk designs in can I mean using Canva and ChatGPT and have data scheduling or, or post scheduling easy if you find this video helpful give it a like share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to work around tech problems